Jono is along with us, and Jono, I'm interested to see how the Bulldogs deal with their latest spate of injuries, uh, the most serious of which to Liam Jones, who's been in good form, going to miss 10 weeks with a double fracture of his arm. How do they handle this? Yeah, it's it's big, isn't it, with what Liam Jones has been able to produce throughout the year so far, and it's it's compounded as well by the fact that Ed Richards is 6+, plus, Jason Johannesson's 6+, plus, mm. Crozier, who was a likely replacement, is now out for an extended period of time as well, so... Defensively with their speed and also now a bit of uh, height and experience and what with Liam Jones and structurally, it just puts it puts it completely on on Bruce, Keith and Gardner. And one of those guys just, you know, has to stand up. Won't play the same way, of course, of Liam Jones, but you know, in particular Gardner, I think's proven in the last couple of years that he might get first crack at that sort of role. Compound fractures, compounded things for sure. Nice work for you, John. <laughs> Brad's at Clifton no. Hings. Well well than you, Brad. Sorry, Jim. Uh, Jared uh, Cornsey and Jono. Hey, Jono, he's a massive out, mate, and he's, if we think that Keith and that are going to do the job, we need to throw the astronaut back there, mate, because mm. we need someone that's going to bash and crash. You know what? We're in trouble if Bevo doesn't make... He's, he's relying on... Keith runs around in circles. He's a good player, but we need someone to crash and bash mm. because we've got, we've got Liam... Uh, we've, sorry... We've got Jamara, we've got Waitman up there. Throw Lob into the goal square and let him lead up because he's given us nothing. Yeah, it's a good call, Brad, in terms of I think I think Aaron Norton becomes a, a, a real discussion point now because Bevo had to throw him back last week yep. and he looked uncomfortable at times and, and, and at times he, he looked like, okay, well, this, this, could, this could work. But, yeah, it needs a, it needs a lot more training and, and work consistently in that area. It just can't be a flow down there for to, to see if it works. I think you've got to throw Norton down there to make it work and at the right time when he's got the confidence as a as a as a player to to do that. So he's got the ability to fix the hole, Brad. I, I agree with what you what you're saying there. But you know, we're not going to be able to replace what Liam Jones offered. Uh, with that, you know, ability with that speed to close space and his experience to be able to do that, you know, observe the high ball and position himself well to influence the the contest. So it's it's on the others. It, it really is. Are you worried about their spot in the eight? The Bulldogs? Yep. No, no, I'm not because they they've got to win five out of their their last run to get to thirteen. Yep. And I'm confident they can they can win the five. So no, I'm not. Uh, I'm not worried about their, their potential spot in the game. disappointed they won't finish top four again uh, with the opportunity that they had? Yeah, they did have that. Top. And I expressed that, Kane. I expressed that a few weeks ago that, you know, they, they, they dropped some opportunities against Gold Coast and the Cats to mm -hmm. be able to put themselves now where they, you know, they beat North Melbourne. They, they win two out of those three. They're sitting right on the edge of the top four and yep. it got a gap to the eight now with these injuries that have happened. Now they miss those opportunities. Injuries are starting to really, you know, take hold to senior players. So, therefore, they go back into the grind. And it is, you know, it's a, it's a missed opportunity now. All right. Well, you coined the phrase, Bombers bounce before the bye, which they did, winning all four of those since you put that on the radar with us. Now you've got a new phrase yes. that uh, they need to take hold of. They hold after the holiday, Jared. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> so this is Don't before, get the bye blues. This is before... This is before, I can't take credit for that, but I'm going to. It might have been given to me. <laughs> Who um, gave it to? <laughs> I mean, Lawrence, credit Lawrence, where credit Lawrence. Oh, good, Lawrence. At well least done. he's thinking about it. I like it. So He doesn't, hold, he doesn't give me anything. No, the, whole, the hold after the holiday <laughs> is the is the next five games, okay? And then they've got their, their final five to go um, off the back of that. So their hold after the holiday is they've got Freo away, Port Adelaide at home, Adelaide at uh, Port Adelaide MCG home, Adelaide at Marvel. Geelong away and the dogs at Marvel. She's a tough draw. It's tough. But all they need to do is win probably two games. Two games. Mm. Two games there. And then their final five games, they've got the Swans, Eagles, North, Giants before they face the Pies in the last round. Win four out of five in that run. So we'll we'll get to that in five weeks' time. But that's a massive opportunity. And if they're they going win. to do it at least on the weekend without Sam Draper. Well, that's and now that that becomes a test in this Does. in this period of period of time Got for, hold even for the bombers. They have to, mm. yeah, they have to because even if they win one here, it's not it's not done. But yep. you can't they can't lose. It's a tough part of the, their season. If they only win the one or two, it's actually okay. And they need to assess this as a as a football club. The fans need to look at this realistically because then their final run, Swans Eagles North Giants, yep. they could go bang 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 and be on fire leading into the finals, and no one will remember. 
the next five the, the next five weeks that we're talking about. I thought it was great that uh, the Bombers pushed up uh, Simon Madden and a couple of others, I assume, uh, to try and sell the club to uh, Mason Redmond because I think it, it it goes to a mindset that finally, after forty or fifty years and uh, thirty odd years of professionalism, clubs are starting to work it out that. Players don't owe them a living because they gave them an opportunity. It's a marriage. It's a, a marriage where each party owes the other and uh, there is a mutual obligation. So the player doesn't just sit there and say, thank you very much for a spot on the list. Mm. It's what can you do with my career? Not too dissimilar to your article a couple of weeks ago, Kane, about mm. um, about the number one draft pick going to the West Coast Eagles. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, there's, he, he's entitled to – I mean, he's going to get a job anywhere just because some club picks him up. He's the number one talent in the country. Mm, mm. Th- that club isn't doing him a favour by putting him on the list, as was the expectation and the and the mindset uh, 20, 30, 40 years ago. Maybe the number one draft pick gets to where the oh, number one jumper. You're not going to let that year, one go, are you? That on the maybe, whiteboard. Maybe, maybe but no, I, I, agree, I agree with what you, you're saying. And so sell well, the club. You tell them see, where they're going. Well, well, you're, well, you're at the club because of what – the past has kept the club alive and the, the – Current keeps the club going, and mm. then then you've got the future off off the back of and that. The and whether you want to be a part of that is Geelong. I mean, we, we've yep. seen on documentaries Dangerfield pitching to Bose halfway through the the year about him, and then touring the facilities mm. with his girlfriend and yep. Tom Stewart, and taking them through the history, walking them through the walls of the change room, showing them their lockers, yep. so that they they do it better than anyone. Unsurprisingly. They have great success at attracting very, very good players to their club, and we saw that just recently in the off-season. Uh, I love this time of the week. Let's get to yes Ooh. or no with Jono. Now on Sports Day, it's time for Yes, No with Jono. Okay, Jono, a lot of energy's gone into this. Um, yes or no, uh, and beware, folks, uh, imitations. Uh, Richmond oh, will what? make the eight. What do you mean oh, imitations? There's, there's a yes, no elsewhere, but uh, <laughs> this is the only uh, original and the best, Jono. Uh, Richmond will make the eight, yes or no? No. If Fremantle lose to Essendon, their season is effectively over. Yes. The Bombers should get rid of the Bomber logo. No, no that's that no. Is Sorry. Out. Sorry. I'm Sorry. going to go back. Yeah, go back. If Fremantle lose to oh, Essendon. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Have you been sucking no. on those fumes before <laughs> you're doing yes and no? I haven't. I haven't. Okay. <laughs> you know I've got to switch on with this and I've got, to, I've got to be quite uh, attentive and I drifted off very quickly then. Apologies. The Bombers <laughs> should get rid of the Bomber logo that is out of date. Oh. Yes. And replace it with a more modern Bomber logo <laughs> of a plane. <laughs> no, like a drone. Complete. <laughs> Complete change. No, a drone. Okay. A bomber drone. <laughs> you wouldn't sign a blank check, Jono. Yes or no? No. Work on the big build around the West Gate seems to be on the big slow. <laughs> yes. Cody Waitman has now gone past Cozzy Pickett as a small forward. He is a small forward, yes. He's but as the best small forward, yes. no. Cozzy Pickett needs to find some form, though. Yes. The CEO elect. Says that there's no confusion around the slam tackle. Is he right? Yes. No confusion. I've got none. Liv, no confusion. Got none. I've, got, I've got none with it. Absolutely. Well, the um, the umpire none. paid a free kick and reported Barry, <laughs> and it was thrown out. So he's confused. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. You're asking. But you're whether, not. You're asking whether the CEO's so, confused. So he's let, not let confused. Out, let, I, I, I'm not sorry, confused. This no, no, no. This no, is no, You can't like, come in. Okay, no. I'll hold it. I'll hold it. Hold. Come back to that. <laughs> live golf. I don't want is, you to come in. <laughs> live golf is very much dead. <laughs> um, no. Stasevich replaces Boland in the next test. No. Banning wood-fired barbecues will be on the Greens hit list next. Yes or no? <laughs> Banning wood-fired barbecues. Banning wood-fired no. barbecues. No. Will be banned next. No. Geelong will make the eight. No. Tom Papley Ooh. is 10% below his best of 22. Yes. 20% below no. his 30%. No. Queensland will win tonight, you know? Yes. Aaron Norton should play centre half back. <sighs> yes. Rory Lobb should be trialled at centre half back. No. The Voice will evidently not advise on Australia Day. Do you believe Minister Burney? Yes or no? 
Sorry, can you repeat that for me? The Voice will yes. evidently not advise on the Australia Day date. Do you believe Minister Burney? Uh, I don't know. Yes. They won't have to... Uh, I'll move on if you said yes. yes. The <laughs> Demons will end Geelong's season tomorrow night. No. The Bombers should have should have a members referendum on the logo. Ooh, yes. The Bombers will beat Frio on the weekend. The Bombers will beat Frio. Yes. Mason Redmond will stay at the Bombers. Yes. It's time to ditch the tackle, according to Malcolm no. Bright. Is he right? No. Jeremy Cameron is no longer a guaranteed All-Australian. Yes. Despite blind enthusiasm at the start of the year for the possibility, there will never, ever, ever be a 100-goal haul kicker in a season again. Yes or no? Yes. Darcy Parrish will be at Geelong at the end of the year. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Mm. Oh. Kieran Briggs is currently the best performed ruckman in the country. Oh, yes. The Giants are closer to a flag than the Swans. No. The buy rounds played over four weeks is the best solution yet. No. The Tassie Devils will be killed off by the Tasmanian Parliament. No. The Ashes is clearly more important than the Test World Test Championship. Yes. England should have regrets over their declaration in the first innings. Yes. But the declaration was good for Test cricket and should be more of it, yes or no? Yes, just not at that. They could have got to 400. And Zach something. Butters will Surely. win the Brownlow medal. Yes. Port Adelaide will lose to Essendon in round 16. At the G? Yes. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. That could be their two wins next two. Mm. That will be the end of the... Hold after holidays. That will be the end of the reverse curse. (laughs) The reverse curse will go, Jared, but the curse after the bye, that'll um, that'll that'll be really wrapped up. Mm. Uh, The Eagles won't win another game in 2023. Good question. Yeah. Yeah. That's a yes? Yeah. Andrew McWalter... Will coach Richmond in 2024? Oh, yes or no, Jono? Oh, come on. Come on. No. He won't. The Saints will upset the Lions on Friday night. No. Lose to Hawthorne on Sunday night and Stewie Dew's job will again uh, be in the spotlight, yeah. fairly or otherwise. Yep. Three weeks for Sicily was fair. Yes or no? No. Two weeks. Yes. West Coast must trade pick one and split it for multiple first round selections from Western Australia. Mm. Oh, this this is this is tough for me. Yes or no? Yes. Western Bulldogs will miss finals on the back of Liam Jones' no. long term injury. Trent Cotchin will play on in twenty twenty four. No. Final question, Jono. Richmond's finals hopes rests on the fitness of Tom Lynch, yes or no? Yes. Yes. How do you think he went, uh, Kane? You wanted to pick oh, him up on Let one? me at him. Let me at okay. him. Oh, Go on. Go on. hanging here. So you must be the only person not confused about this tackle, Jono. Along not, with the CEO elect. I'm not confused about the tackle. So, because if I was that umpire, I wouldn't have paid. I would have paid a free kick, but wouldn't have reported him. Okay. Yeah. What about. So I'm the, 100% the, the, not confused. So the Butler free kick. Was yep. it a free kick? The Butler free kick. No, that was, was just hold, f- holding the ball. So that was paid a free kick for a dangerous yeah, tackle. No, that was the wrong. That was the wrong decision. You yes. wouldn't have paid that. No, I wouldn't have paid that. No. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the umpires are confused, but you're not. I'm not. One hundred percent. I'm. I'm clear that. on this. Do you think they're Sicil- confused about uh, the protected zone? The umpires. <laughs> I think they're confused about. If you they got one right. Yeah. Papley yep. walked through the yes. mark and yep. they paid fifty. Good. I was like, what? I jumped off the couch, not because of a Cody Waitman specky, because the umpires paid a 50 for mm. a player going through the mark and finally seeing it. Yeah. You convinced right. that Jeremy Cameron's still in the all Australia Yes, squad? just. We're about to just. find out before he leaves us, though, he does this and reveals his rolling all Australian team after round 14. John, o, how savage have you been this week? A couple of changes only, Kane. Just getting through to the buy rounds, then we'll see where this whole side really sits uh, after after fourteen games. But I've made a couple. One is Liam Jones is is out, was in, now he's out because yep. of his extended stay on the sidelines. 
Alir Alir comes in to the back pocket. Mm. Found form again and is, uh, is, is going okay for Port Adelaide. Stephen May remains at full back. Mason Redmond in the back pocket, still edging out Tom Stewart. Nick Dacos, Darcy Moore, Jack Sinclair. That hasn't changed for some Solid. time. Solid line. Yep. Josh Dacos remains on the wing. Yep. The Bont jumps off the bench into the midfield after his performance. And Nick Martin remains on the wing. Staying with Nick. Wing. Yes. Toby Green, half forward. Jeremy Cameron with an asterisk. Okay. Stays at what centre half forward. What sort of asterisk? Do you want to know a big asterisk or just a... It's, yeah. Yeah. He hasn't got the square around him yet, but it's not far, it's okay. not far away. It's... It's a tough, the, the, the tall forwards, there's, there's a spot here for 100%. A, couple, a couple of tall forwards who were on fire early that now have Well, we were talking about away. 100 goals a year earlier we in the were, season. And Jeremy Cameron was on for that. That's right. Uh, but he's, what uh, about the boy from uh, Port Adelaide, Jeremy Finlayson? Jeremy Finlayson goes to the half forward flank. He's in. He, he replaces Jack Lacocious okay. on the half forward flank. One bad game for Jack and he's out. <laughs> Very harsh. <laughs> Just unlucky. Yeah, Charlie Cameron comes into the uh, – stays in the side, Brody. Yep. My check gets another chance at, at full forward. But once again, this is another spot that's completely up for grabs, as is Joe Danaher in, in the forward mm. pocket. Timmy English remains the ruck. Petrarca and Butters Did you think about balls. Kieran Briggs? Like, it's a rolling All-Australian side. Yeah. For six weeks, he's been the best ruckman in the game. Yeah, but Tim English has still been very, very good in that period okay. of time collectively. Uh, Rosie, Taranto, Dawson, and Merritt on the bench. I'm not happy with four mids, but I've still got them there, and the sub is Neil. I'm just looking for I'm looking for Too a bit more mids. yeah, a bit more flexibility on, a, on you need a utility on the bench. type. I know I need I need some help with that side of things. Yeah. I think in terms of um, like that, we had, that utility, I think we had Blixarves and Heaney. So yeah, Pendles, I had Pendles there on, for a long time, but he's last year. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, that that has to change, and that will change over the uh, over the coming weeks. My bench and sub, I'm I'm not overly happy with, mm-hmm. but it is what it is at the moment. All those guys deserve to be to be mentioned. Yes, but for where the team's at, one of those will have to make way. 